Hello everyone, this is JB Trader and welcome to Crypto Trading. Right now on my screen, I've got the Dash Dollar pair pulled up. And um, there's been a lot of volatility in the market lately and so I want to make sure we're caught up to date with Dash. So right now, what I'm seeing is, of course, a downtrend. That's the first thing my eyes gravitate to is what is the trend? Okay, and I'm using a daily time frame. So it's not like a really small one. It's not a weekly or a monthly. Uh, dailies are really good to just do a quick analysis. Um, if you're not like a intraday trader, you know, just stick with the daily. So right now with the downtrend, I'm connecting a trend line to the highs. Okay, that's how you see it's a downtrend. And what was going on is we were making lower lows. Now, the last low was actually a higher low. Okay, uh, but it hasn't broke the swing high it hasn't broke the trend line yet okay so we've just kind of been ranging sideways and kind of consolidating here at about this 792 level okay so what i am noticing is that where price bounced off of this area of support i'm going to put some lines here i'm going to put my bottom support line here at about 494 at that pivot level. I'm going to clone that parallel line and put it up here to this area, okay? So this would be my daily support area. And this is where price bounced off of on the seventh, well, on the, uh, what is this? The 16th and the 17th, as well as on the 23rd. So we've just been reacting to this level of support here. And I'm going to wrap a rectangle and it just helps my eyes to see uh, right away. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'll keep that blue, a light blue, okay? So this is the area of support. Hopefully this will hold for Dash. And so what happens is we're, we're getting some strength. Now, if we rally up and we break this trend line in a daily, you know, people will notice, traders will notice, and they'll say, hey, there's some strength going on with Dash. Uh, they'll consider this maybe a confirmation to buy. If you didn't buy here or here, some people are waiting for more strength, maybe to break this trend line, and then they'll wanna buy there. But if you're a breakout trader and you're waiting for a break of the trend line as your entry, just be mindful of overhead resistance. Okay, so I'm going to Make some more horizontal lines here. I'm gonna change the color, clone it. So when I clone, I'm just making a, a parallel line and then I'm going to make another rectangular box in this area of resistance. And I'm going to change the color. I like to color code things. All right, so you see where price came, rallied up before on the 20th, January 20th, and fell away. Hey, I moved my trend line. It fell away. Came back, hit support, and now it's rallying back up again. So again, I will repeat. <laughs> if you plan on buying at the this right here, this candle from January 22nd, the high of the day was about 8.57. So if we break the high of that day, if we break 857 and we're breaking this trend line, those are two relatively good signals for strength. But again, be mindful of overhead resistance. Now, it wouldn't surprise me at all if price did rally up, came and hit this level of resistance uh, starting at 924. If it fell back down, if price declined again, Possibly, this would be the new area of support. And I'm going to color code that green. I'll make it a little bit darker so you can see it better. So, price rally up, hit resistance again, breaks the trend line, which is good, shows some strength, but it does react because there are sell orders here, comes back down, 
this would be a good area and a daily to buy at that point. And if you do buy here, this would like coincide with the new trend line. I'll go ahead and put another trend line up. So if you want to start to say, you know, if this will continue to do an, to be an uptrend, I will change this to green. All right, it coincides with this trend line. Come up, come back down, kind of bounce off this trend line. And again, putting uh, lines up and rectangles and boxes and colors, it is an art. It's not an exact thing. People put their lines and boxes in slightly different places. They put it on the bottom of the tails. They put it on the bottom of the candle bodies or the top. So everyone does their own thing. Uh, oftentimes with foreign currency, um, as well as uh, cryptocurrency, since it's not centralized, you know, you you can make your trend lines to kind of cut through those wicks and tails. Um, so I'll do more videos on everything I'm talking about. Um, I am posting another video soon on how to read a candlestick. So, uh, or it might be up already. So I'll go over those in more detail, but just keep that in mind. Up bounce back down. So this area of support at about 808 would be a good place to buy, if, especially if we went higher. It'd be good if we went all the way up, went higher than 997. So if price rallies up higher, deep into this resistance level, breaks the high of January 20th, as well as January 16th, that does show good strength. Be looking for a pullback to get it on sale. Also around this trend line, as well as an area of support here at about that 808, you know, 830 area. Okay. Now, if price continues, if it bounces off of this trend line, the downtrend line, and continues to decline, comes back to this area of support, and then actually breaks support here at 492 to continue the downtrend. Because again, once you make a new lower low, which is 591, the downtrend continues. So if it breaks this low of 591, continues down and breaks, you know, the area of support altogether, then the next area I'd be looking at, hopefully to hold, you know, this isn't the greatest in the world, but anywhere here, all the way down to uh, 350. Because as you can see, look how long price ranged. Look how long price ranged here in 2017. And, you know, kept beating up this area of 395 all the way down to 232. Just went sideways, consolidated here, ranged here. And then when it finally did break out here back in November, came back down, retested it, and then it was off to the races from there. So this breakout area... Uh, as well as this area of, of consolidation. So whenever you have like two or more factors that help you to um, reinforce your position, whether you're bullish or bearish, it's kind of like, give me a reason. Actually, give me two reasons to go long or go short. I need more than one. And you're stacking odds in your favor when you have multiple uh, tools by which you know to analyze with to help build your position. Okay, so that's where I see for that. Um, we're looking to buy. So, and, and if it continues to rally, if it gets up to this area of resistance, comes back, retest this area, which would be great, or comes up to this area of resistance, it might just blow through it, or it continues up this uptrend, we just have a lot to get through here. Look how long we went sideways here with Dash. Let me open that up a little bit. We was just sideways here forever since like January of this year, December. I mean, this is a daily chart. It doesn't sound that long, <laughs> but for the last month, I mean, we just went, and these are very large swings in price. This is a huge daily range right here in price. Very volatile. I mean, we went as high as, let me see, on January 5th, we went as high as 1321 to a low of the day of 924. You know, it's like 400 points in a day. These are huge swings on a daily level right here. So again, if the price of Dash does continue to rally on an uptrend back up to this sideways area of price, 
for all you day traders, um, people looking in small time frames, you know, 15 minute, 60 minute, four hour time frames, and looking to take some intraday trade money, just be careful. Just be careful because I know with sideways price action, especially very you know volatile swings, uh, your account can get chopped up to little bitty pieces. So just be careful. Manage your risk accordingly in a responsible fashion. All right, so, yep. So just keep your eye on these price points for Dash. Thanks for joining me. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, broker, um, or anything like that. I'm just a trader sharing with you what I personally look at on my own price charts uh, when I analyze currencies. All right, I will talk to you soon and check out my next video. I will be analyzing some different cryptocurrency pairs as well in the top 10. All right, bye.